This is the default camera in Assetto Corsa. Even though it gets the job done, as you can see it isn't really that exciting and the camera spins around together with the car. And this is the Kirby Chase Cam. Since the camera is less sensitive to motion, it just makes the entire shot look more cinematic and exciting. I always recommend using this camera over the basic Assetto Corsa camera, especially if you love drifting. I should mention that to use this camera, you will need content manager for Assetto Corsa, as well as custom shaders patch. I have a separate video explaining how you can install both of them. I'll leave the link in the description in case you wanna check it out. With that, let me show you how you can install it. First, we need to download Kirby Cam. To do that, open up your web browser and simply type in Assetto Corsa Kirby Cam. The first link is from race department, which is the link we want to click on. I need to point out that you need to have a race department account if you want to download stuff. Registering for an account is free though. Then simply click download at the top and wait for the archive to finish downloading. When we open up the archive, you'll see that there's an extension folder inside. Now we need to go to extract to and extract this extension folder to our base Assetto Corsa folder, that is the root folder. If you don't know how to find your Assetto Corsa root folder, I explain it in my other video where I also show you how to install Content Manager. Then, simply click OK and wait for the files to extract. I'm obviously going to click Cancel since I already have Kirby Cam installed. The creator of Kirby Cam has some recommended settings, but I'll show you how you can adjust and tweak them to your liking. First up, let's open up Content Manager. Once you're in, you wanna go to Settings, then into custom shaders patch and from here find and select chaser camera make sure that the extension is active and under script use make sure to select kirby cam to start off go to drive and make sure you select a low car i suggest picking the audi r8 or the ferrari 458 i'll explain why this is so important in a moment then go to assetto corsa in settings and go to chase camera this is the user interface that will allow us to tweak Kirby Cam and alter the way it looks. As you can see, on the left side you have the car displayed as well as a horizontal line stretching above the car. When we're adjusting the camera, we're always going to aim to have that horizontal line slightly above the car in order to be able to see other cars once we're in game. Then below that we have the two Assetto Corsa Chase cameras and we're going to be using the two of them and I'll explain why in just a bit. Finally, on the right side we have the parameters, where we can change things such as distance, height and pitch. Now, the reason why we are going to be using both of the cameras is because not all cars are the same size, meaning the same height and length. Let me show you what I'm on about. If we simply go to drive and then I select a taller car, such as this BMW X7 mod, when we go back to settings, you'll notice that the horizon line is now clipping inside the car model. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the first camera to be used with lower cars and we're going to use the second camera for taller cars such as SUVs. Now before I show you my recommended settings for the cameras, let me showcase the issue by using some in-game footage. Here we have an Audi R8 using a camera height of 1 meter. You can clearly see above the top of the car and look at other traffic. And this is the BMW X7 mod using that same camera with a height of 1 meter. As you can notice, we can't see absolutely anything. If we switch to the other camera though, which has a height of 1.45 meters, now you're obviously able to see the traffic ahead. One final note, I don't recommend using a particularly tall camera with low cars such as the Audi R8 because it ruins the sense of immersion and it can cause the car to clip at the bottom of the screen when you're braking. With that in mind, here are my recommended settings. For the first camera, if you're mainly going to be using low cars such as race cars or the Ferrari 458 or even the Audi R8, set the distance to 3.5 meters and set the height to 1 meter. I suggest leaving the pitch alone. If you also like to drive more regular cars, which are taller, 
such as the BMW M3 or even the Mercedes E63 AMG, set the distance to 3.6 meters and the height to 1.2 meter. This is a slightly more general setting that you'll also be able to use with low cars. Finally, for the second camera, which you're going to be using on large SUVs such as the BMW X7, I suggest setting the distance to 3.8 meters and the height to 1.45 or even 1.5 meters. That's pretty much it for this video guys, let me know what other tutorials you wanna see next. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you wanna see more tutorials as well as videos of me driving, please subscribe.